Welcome to Furniture Industry News for October 23rd, 2024. Today, we're diving into the latest updates from the furniture world. We'll cover some big corporate changes, charitable efforts, exciting trade fair developments, and cutting-edge tech advancements. Let's get started with what's happening in our industry. Beyond Incorporated, the parent company of Bed Bath & Beyond, is making some big changes. They're cutting 20% of their workforce and have let go of their chief product officer. This move is part of their plan to create a leaner, more efficient organization. The company says these changes will help them save about $20 million a year. They're shifting towards what they call an asset light business model. This means they're focusing more on technology and finding ways to make money from data and customer loyalty. These layoffs come right after Beyond Incorporated made some interesting investments. They've put money into home decor, retailer Kirkland's, and the company store. These deals will bring Bed Bath & Beyond back into physical stores and generate some licensing income for Beyond Incorporated. The company is set to share more details about their plans in their upcoming investor event. It'll be interesting to see how these changes play out in the competitive world of home furnishings retail. In heartwarming news, Big Lots has made a significant impact through its annual sample sale charity poll. The top 100 retailer donated over $50,000 worth of home furnishings and essential products to eight local nonprofit organizations. This event took place at their distribution center in Columbus, Ohio. The charity initiative allowed selected nonprofits to shop for sample items from Big Lots. Eight truckloads of products were donated, including furniture, bedding, kitchenware, and home decor. These items will help improve the lives of those in need within the community. The nonprofits chosen for this event serve various vulnerable populations, such as homebound seniors, families dealing with childhood cancer, and survivors of human trafficking. Big Lots employees volunteered their time to help representatives from these organizations pick the most suitable products for their clients. In addition to the sample sale charity pull, Big Lots extended its support to other causes. They donated home furnishings to Vista Village, Columbus's first tiny home program for individuals experiencing homelessness. The company also partnered with the Furniture Bank of Central Ohio to furnish homes for families in crisis. Responding to the recent impact of Hurricane Helene, Big Lots shipped new home essentials like blankets, sheets, and pillows to support North Carolina hurricane relief efforts. This wide-ranging charitable initiative showcases Big Lot's commitment to making a positive difference in communities both locally and beyond. The Vietnam International Trade Fair for Apparel, Textiles, and Textile Technologies, also known as VIAT, is gearing up for its second showing in early 2025. This event is set to be bigger and better than ever, with some exciting new additions. One of the highlights will be the new India Pavilion, organized by the Cotton Textiles Export Promotion Council. This joins the returning Japan and Taiwan pavilions, offering a diverse range of international exhibitors. For those interested in cutting-edge technology, the fair will introduce an innovation and digital solution zone. This area will showcase the latest advancements in the industry, including 3D printing, AI-driven design, and digital printing. The AT is also putting a strong emphasis on sustainability this time around. They're introducing an Ecology Hub, which will be a platform for eco-friendly suppliers and service providers to connect. There's also an Ecology Finder tool to help sustainable exhibitors showcase their green credentials. And Ecology Talks, featuring seminars and presentations on eco-focused topics. These new features are expected to attract even more visitors and exhibitors to the fair which will take place from February 26th to 28th at the Saigon Exhibition and Convention Center in Ho Chi Minh City. It's shaping up to be a must-attend event for anyone in the textile and apparel industry. Now let's talk about Natusi's performance in the second quarter of 2023. The Italian furniture company reported some positive news, with overall sales showing a slight increase. What's particularly noteworthy is that their branded sales grew by 2.5%, making up a whopping 93.2% of their total sales. This shows that Natuzzi's strategy of focusing on their brand is really paying off. Looking ahead, Natuzzi has outlined several key priorities. They're aiming to improve the quality of their distribution network, which should help them accelerate their retail brand journey. They're also working on expanding their profit margins and continuing with their restructuring program. 
This includes efforts to improve their revenue per employee ratio, which is a smart move in today's competitive market. Despite some challenges in the broader market, Natuzzi's CEO Antonio Achille sees these results as a testament to the company's resilience and the strength of their brand retail strategy. It's clear that Natuzzi is adapting to the changing landscape of the furniture industry and making strategic moves to secure their position in the market. Exciting news in the world of furniture technology. Kravit, a well-known home furnishings company, has teamed up with 3D visualization firm Intiaro to create a cutting-edge shopping experience. They've just launched Arrange 3D, a mixed reality app that's set to change how we shop for furniture. This app works with Apple's Vision Pro headset, blending the real world with virtual elements. What did this mean for you? Well, you can now see Kravit's furniture in your own home before you buy it. The app shows products at full scale, giving you a realistic view of how that new couch or chair would look in your living room. Arrange 3D goes beyond what we've seen with regular augmented reality apps on phones. It offers a more immersive experience, helping designers and shoppers make better decisions. Kravit believes this technology will be a game changer for selling high-end furniture, offering a virtual showroom right in your home. That wraps up today's episode of Furniture Industry News. Stay informed about the latest developments in the furniture industry by subscribing to our podcast. Thanks for listening.